హలో ఫ్యూరీ డెవలపర్స్ వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు హైఫై టెక్ అండ్ ఎంటర్టైన్మెంట్ ఛానల్ ఇన్ టుడేస్ వీడియో ఐ విల్ షో యూ హౌ టు క్రియేట్ ఫ్యూరీ ఎలిమెంట్స్ అప్లికేషన్ ఇన్ బిఏఎస్ బై యూజింగ్ ది నార్త్ విన్ ఒడేటా సర్వీసెస్ సో బై యూజింగ్ దిస్ వీ హ్యావ్ టూ డిఫరెంట్ ప్యాటర్న్స్ వీ కెన్ క్రియేట్ ది డెస్టినేషన్స్ సో ఫస్ట్ ఐ విల్ గో టు ది నార్త్ విన్ ఒడేటా సర్వీస్ This Northwind Odata service is available for everybody to use and doesn't have any kind of authorization. So, any developer who wants to learn how to create a Fury element doesn't have any access to any backend system. So, you can use this service to create a full-fledged Fury element apps. In this Odata service, we can also create a freestyle application. So, in this service we can see many of entity sets the product shipper regions these all are the entity types so by using the products i will create a list report so first quick have a look at the what are the products in this prop entity type so i will copy these products and we have to run the odata service then if you copy the product so this is the entity name so within the products what are the properties of this pro product entity you can see that all details so it will show you the all details of the product details if you drill down here here we can see the navigation details of the product as well so but before going to start an odata service first we'll create an element then we'll create a destinations for the applications so go to the business application studio here two ways we can create the destinations so in previous video i showed you within the service center we have an sap system option here also with this is my sub account within this also we can create the destinations these things i showed you in last video now what i will do is i will create a destinations in the web by the pattern that means go to your trailer account here we have an option called connectivity within the connectivity there will be an option called destinations once you click on that here we will create our destinations for that what i will do is create a new destination so this is the destination name not to win url then type description within the url we have to give our north wind service if you see here here i am using complete service if you want to define only host we can do that for that details in previous video you can see how i define that so now we have to create a additional properties the property what we have to maintain is dynamic destinations then that is true next one web id additional data this one why i am using because here i am using full url that's why i maintain this if you are not using full url if you are using only host name means this thing is not required then web id usage by the enable so use create destinations here these all things we have to enter but if you go to the sap service section then these things are no need to enter automatically system generate these things 
for the clarification you can go to my previous video and check it out clone then click save once you click on the save if you see here the disk the service is created then to check the connection see here connection is temporarily redirected but it will work out why because i hard coded the url in case if you give only port name just like this this is also not we know data service only if i define this within this i can use multiple urls well i mean multiple paths here i used only v2 path for north wind we have v4 also for if you want to use all multiple things in that scenario we have to give only service host okay for example if you check this connection you can see it will be a success connection if it is green means it is success connection okay now what i will do is i will go to my business application studio here i will show you how to create a fury elements for that file new project from template in previous video i showed you through service center itself we can create our application but here i'm selecting different pattern for that go to sap fury application click on next here we have to select the floor plan the floor plan what i will select is list report page click on next then next step we have to select our data source and for us the data source what we have added as part of the destinations for that connect to the system once you click on the connect to system it will show you the available destinations which what you configured to our account see here you can see all the destinations i am selecting here northwind url then once you click on the select northwind url it will show you the service path in case if you select the only host name for example if you if i select northwind host then it will ask the service path either you can enter here or you can use directly also so i will go back to the north win url then the automatically service path will display which is v2 service path so click on next then it will ask the main entity name so we choose products is our main entity for navigation entity it will show you some list i am choosing here as a category we can select the category of the product once done click on the next so in this screen you you can enter the details of the project so here my application is a prod, product right so what i will do is not win products application title then description folder path here i will choose my folder path is and product currently i am not deploying any application why because just i want to show how to run the application by using fury apps then directly finish once you enter the all module details description folder path everything now system will install the various dependencies required the project which you can see on the right bottom corner of the screen once it done it will reload that application now 
you are ready to now execute our fury application to execute this fury application right click the project select the preview option you can see system created a basic application for you but you as usual you don't select any column in this list report so once you run the application it will take some time to load this but before going that you can see here the backend services it, I will show you here you can see the Northwind backend services everything and where the path is loading the details you can see here yes see the title I changed as a project if you see here it will be a basic application for you but as usual we don't see any columns in the list report because we don't have any kind of annotations from the Northwind editing service but for that if you want to see these columns what we can do is go to our settings icon here you can see the list of columns now i'm selecting all click ok then click go once you click on go it will load the all records fetched from the north wind or data service see guys now you can see the Northwind data service right good in next video I will show you how to use the annotation file by using this open guided development so if you like the video and if you think if it is this video is useful don't forget to like share and subscribe Thank you everyone.